Hey friends, welcome back to my studio. I hope you're having a great day today. I'm gonna push myself. I've been doing that a little bit lately. I'm gonna back up here for a second. I painted a looser cat painting, a corgi butt that was really cute and looser. I've been pushing myself to paint a little bit more loose um, and faster. Why? Because it's a fun challenge and sometimes you end up with some of those Bob Ross happy accidents and it's fun. It's just fun to try different things. So I'm going to paint a landscape. I haven't painted a landscape in a while. And then I'm going to paint a simple landscape. So if you guys want to try it, I set up a traceable. It'll be up on my website, AnnieTro.com. Uh, birch trees. I love birch trees, aspen trees. They're just, they're just fun. They're fun to paint. I love the yellow fall colors. I've got a 12 by 16 canvas from Michaels. It's the usual. I really like their level three professional canvases that are gallery wrapped and spline. I've tightened the canvas. I'm gonna write the word love on it with some of my new hippie crafter chalk pastels. Uh, the link will be below in this video to all their products. Uh, they sent an affiliate link. So if you click on that link and you purchase something, I'll make a little bit of money. Just a heads up in case you wanna jump over that puddle or if you want to help support the channel I really appreciate it so yeah that was a little commercial <laughs> but I really like them I did a flamingo chalk video you could check out and I swatched the the chalk pastels they're really nice and I like the size and I love how vibrant they are I don't know how they do that but they are really vibrant and then I'm gonna work with quote primary colors today because I don't know that Thalo Blue Green Shades a primary blue, but it's one of my favorite blues. I love it. And I'm going to use Quinacridone Magenta. Those are both heavy body. I use a combination of heavy, heavy body and basics line and Liquitex. Uh, Cad Yellow Medium Hue. This one's the basics. And I put a little Mars Black out on my palette. And last but not least, I go through a lot of this, titanium white. And it doesn't really, I use both the heavy body and the basics in the jar, big jar, titanium white. Um, the only reason to use the heavy body is um, if you want more texture. Their website says that it's a little bit more heavily pigmented. I have trouble telling the difference. So, so here's my palette. I'm gonna paint the background have a little lunch and I'll be back in a bit. stop a second and let you know what I'm thinking so I'm thinking sort of the dirty brush technique <laughs> I don't know if that's such a thing um, I ended up putting the traceable on here because I thought you guys might do that a lot of times I might just find my horizon line I know I've kind of got this shape going for a dark shape and paint all that in instead of painting around the trees um, you can do it either way it does it doesn't matter but I'm thinking you know big leaves yellow here probably gonna pull up some more yellow here and then grass is down here and maybe a few bold brush strokes for leaves so I thought I would show you it's a little wet 
I thought I would show you at a better angle the color. I don't know if you can see that on video. I've been trying, I video in a couple of different ways in my studio. I guess three different ways. And I'm just trying to look for the best lighting. One of these days we'll just have lighting set up. Oh, I need to kind of touch up that side a little bit. So I'm going to let that dry and I'll be back in a bit. But I'm just using a one inch low Cornell brush. And then I mixed a little bit of a, it's, it's the phthalo blue green shade with a little bit of magenta. So it's a little more purple. And then I mixed a pile of green and then I was just grabbing colors. Like I might grab a little white, get a little highlight, but mostly I'm just reminding myself that I want kind of yellow or greener here. And I'm painting that in now. <laughs> and then cooler, darker in here. So it kind of goes, it goes back. Okay. I hope those comments help and I'll be back after a bit. Thought I'd stop in and show you what I'm up to. It's looking pretty good. It really looks good in the video, but it needs, I think it needs just more layers, but I'm, oh, and I put it down on, <laughs> I need to fix that. I painted it and I set it on, set it on the wet paper towel, but I like, I'm thinking, okay, so splash of light there, more warm light in here. Um, chat, you know, so my light's gonna be coming from, from the other direction. I usually don't do that from this direction. So shadows going this way. I've kind of got a little hint of a tree. Can you see that right there? So I'm either going to put in some light purpley gray trees, or I'm going to put in some yellow, darker oranges up here. Here, I think I'll show you. But so like for this, um, bottom like I put in some dirt or some color and then I kind of put in some vertical strokes and then I just kind of started twisting my brush around just playing but I think I'm going to put this orange up in the corner or maybe a little over here and then eventually I'll put some straight up oh sorry this orange was that on camera that I mixed it's pretty much yellow and carnacadone and some dirty paint and then I paint the trees and then maybe go back and paint the whole thing all over again. <laughs> um, layers really help you. This is pretty good right here though. I don't know. I might want a little more layer there, but the grass definitely needs more layer. Okay. Just thought I'd pop in with what I'm thinking and where I'm heading.
Hey friends, I'm gonna stick my head in here. I don't wanna scare you. <laughs> Hi. Okay, so I just checked like my shadows that they're kind of going down into the left. I'm gonna step back and look at it. You guys are kind of looking at it at an angle. I think that's pretty good. I think what I'm gonna do, oh, and then I painted my trees with a number 12 Zan Royal and Langnickel brush. I believe that's a half inch flat. I don't know if you can hear, maybe it's better if I do this. Um, just because I have a little more control. And I'm trying to just keep them simple. And I think what I'm going to do next is I'm going to work on the grass and I'm going to start turning on the lights, like putting on highlights on little bits of the trees. I have pretty much blue trees, kind of purpley fading into the background. And then this one's blue, that one's pretty blue. This one turns a little purple. This one actually turned green. I was just warming it up, but it looks green now. <laughs> and then this one's kind of a warmer brown purple. Let's see if we can hold it straight. Maybe that'll help you guys. It looks pretty good on the video. I don't like it as well in person, but sometimes you need to step back from it and take a look. Oh, here. I mean, I'm not done with the grass, but I'm just sort of smearing it. I'll paint the shadow in, then I'll kind of paint some with the corner of my brush. It's already looking pretty fun. I don't know, this might be kind of hard. I've got a lot of colors in there. You'll have to let me know what you think. Paint it smaller. Um, oh, it is almost 3.30. So I started this at 10.30. I decided to do a fall birch tree scene. I did the traceable. Um, gosh, so I, maybe I was probably started painting about 11.30 and it's 3.30 now. And I did take about a half hour break. And normally I don't power through painting so much, but I want to get one done and another video done so I can, one, I can take this to the show in March and then I got a video for YouTube for you guys. Um, I don't recommend spending that many hours at a time on a painting. You can get kind of tired. Plus I'm standing. So yeah, I think I'm going to mess with the grass some. I might warm it up, I'm not sure. And then I'm going to mess with just some big brush strokes and fall leaves. And then, oh yeah, like as I said, I was going to turn on the lights. I think that's everything I wanted to tell you. Okay guys, I'll be back in a bit. I'm popping in already because I thought of something. Um, hopefully that last little bit was okay because I forgot to clip my microphone on me. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have big leaf, sh leaf shapes. Like I've kind of got one there that's floating back. So I realized I needed bigger grass shapes. So I pulled out the one inch brush and I've been putting in another layer of grass and I think it's better already. Let's see what you guys think. Yeah, I think that's better. It was too small. I've got big trees. I'm going to have big leaves. I need big grass. Okay, hopefully that helps. That comment helps you guys a little bit. Back after a bit. give you a look through the better camera on my phone. I really like it through my phone. It's a little intense <laughs> in person. You guys will have to let me know what you think in the comments. So let's take a little tour here. So bottom grasses. So I put orange in the tree trunks just a couple of spots. Um, pink highlight, purplish highlight on the left and then kind of a warmish greenish highlight on the, the right. 
Oh, here, I'm tipping my phone so it looks a little warped. See if I can get it. All right, I'm going to turn the phone around and say goodbye. Hey, so I'm looking at it again at a distance. I really like it at a distance. Looks pretty cool. I didn't add any colors than the original ones I mentioned at the beginning of this video, but I sure did make a mess, <laughs> which is fun. Um, I liked using the bigger brush. Oh, it is 4.30, so I spent another hour um, painting this. I don't know if you need to see it, see it again. Maybe see it a little straighter. It's always hard for me to get it straight. That looks really nice. I like it in my phone, but see, like, I'm not too sure about it up close. I took a photo too, so that'll be in the video. You could stop the video and take a look at it. Can you see the... I think I like it. I think I've just been on top of it all day long, so I don't know what I think. It's, it's sort of raining leaves. I was worried I was going to get too many leaves in there. Well, I hope you like this one. Give it a try six by eight. It'll be easier and quicker. And then just use a smaller brush or use, you could use a filbert, use whatever brush you like. Okay guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. Great big happy art hugs and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye guys.